I'm in the dog house. Ow! Nobody likes being in the dog house. Penny here, GhostPixATS.com, the number one sports consultant in the business. Monday, October 24th, the dog house. I don't like it. I don't like it. I lost. Let's talk about it. Jacksonville Jaguars minus three. My favorite bet of the day. My favorite bet of the week. You're, wait, wait. That's the truth. God, that's the truth. It was my favorite bet of the day. Even more so than the Bengals on my free play. I loved it. I hammered it for the red alert and I lost. And you look at it in hindsight and you can be like, oh, how could you back the Jacksonville Jaguars? Benny. Well, the main part, you know, how are the Jacksonville Jaguars even minus three going into that game? Like alarm bells are going off everywhere. That set everything off for me. Alarm bells. It stank. The line stank. I was certain we were going to capitalize on it. I was certain of it. Instead, we did not, so we are on to the next. I will not stop pulling the trigger. Let's get that paper. The full week is up. It's $100 flat. Monday to Sunday, all sports, all plays. Red alerts are included. Tonight, I have three picks. Tonight, I have one hockey. I have one NBA. I have one football. Okay? My hockey packages are up, and my hockey is on fire. Hockey day package is $17.99. Hockey week package is still $50 for this week yet. So you jump on, you get all my hockey picks from for a full week from the time of purchase, seven days from the time you jump on for only 50 bucks. And my hockey has been on fire, 15 and four now in hockey, okay? My hockey season is only $450, okay? That's for the entire season. Those prices will change. That week price will probably change. This, I might do this one more week, but 50 bucks, you can jump on all my hockey picks for the week. It's crushing, crushing, we're crushing, crushing. Uh, tonight, again, I have one hockey, I have one football, I have one basketball. Dialed it back a little bit on a Monday. Yesterday was not really a great day for me, I'd say. I've been putting in work getting us winners. We've been here, we've been winning here for months, I would say, consistently. Months. Mo regular. It just... Yesterday, not my best day. How about that? Lost on Jags. I'm still kind of shocked overall on the line and the way it played out. Doug Peterson, he knows the NFC East very well. Um, God, there's just so much. It's just, uh, you know, but you know what they say, Jags will be Jags, I guess. I hate losing. I hate it. I hate it. One on the, I won on the Jets Broncos under 36 and a half. I won on the Kansas City Chiefs money line. I won on the Bengals minus six and a half right here on YouTube. Which was I was I that that was such a good play right here on YouTube. That was one of my other favorite plays of the day. Cincinnati Bengals minus six and a half. Free plays remain hot. Um, then I lost on the Lakers. They stink. Uh, I lost on the Yankees. Astros first five under three and a half. Lost in hockey on the Kraken, and then soccer for me this weekend was just painful. It was dreadful. Lutton Watford under two and a half. Southampton Arsenal over two and a half. Both lost. I hate losing. I hate coming up here. I hate coming up. I hate coming up here and telling you all that I lost. I do. It's but it's part of the job. Let's bounce back today and continue right on. Let's talk about oh, and I lost on the Warriors. Uh on the spread. Um, but let's talk about the Phillies and the Astros. Let's talk about World Series. Astros easy to talk about. They sweep the Yankees, no problem. Their pitching is incredible. That's they're here. They, what what the Astros are doing has been incredible. They're here again. It's so hard to get here just once, and they're here again and again and again, you know. So what the Astros are doing, it really, it is incredible. I know they had that cheating scandal, of them, but what they're doing right now is incredible. Their pitching is very good. Phillies have something magical going on. Oh, firing Girardi won't fix anything. Stott can't play every day. Alec Baum hates this place. They only won 87 games. Their bullpen is terrible. Bryce Harper, way overrated. 
Way overrated. They paid them all. Way overrated. The Phillies can't beat the Braves. The pa Phil Okay, the Phillies are good, but the Padres are better. The Houston Astros are just too good. Let's go, Phillies. Let's go, Phillies. That's what I'm saying. Shout out of the day. David Tokarski. David Tokarski guessed Joe Burrow as the top fantasy football scorer, and he was the only one to guess it, too. Hit the nail on the head there, David. You are my shout out of the day. The amount of comments coming in is just like, wow. So many comments. Takes me a long time to read through them, too. David Dukarski hits on the fantasy football pick. David Dukarski, you are my shout out of the day. I'm going to go Richard Lockhart as well. And no offense to Richard. I don't like it. I don't like it. But Richard took the Giants on the money line. So, Richard, you win too. I'll tuck my tail and give you props. Took Giants money line. I ain't happy about it, but it's a nice win. So David Dukarski and Richard Lockhart, you're my shout outs of the day. Today is simple. Tell me your favorite bet of the day. I would also like to know. Tell me your favorite bet of the day in the comment section. And I would like, I like the fantasy football game. I, I, I like that. I personally like that because I love fantasy football. I would love it if you gave me a top fantasy football scorer in tonight's game between the Bears and the Patriots. Talk about a challenge. I'm not sure how I'll pick it yet, but tell me your favorite bet. Tell me your top fantasy football scorer in Giants or in uh, Giants in uh, Patriots and Bears. Let's go. Let's get a free play. 8.15 p.m. Eastern time. Chicago Bears at the New England Patriots. Free play of the day. Bears Patriots over 40. Over 40. My voice is cracking. Jeez Louise. Bears Patriots over 40. Got a nice low total again. I'm going over it. You look at the Bears, they have hit the under in like four of their last six. One of the worst teams offensively. Bears can be hard to watch at times. New England actually trending toward the over. And they, you know, they'd be hitting the over at home too. Uh, I don't really, I don't really get excited about these two teams. <laughs> they don't, I'm not going to lie. They don't do it for me. The Patriots don't do it for me, and the Bears don't do it for me. They don't. But we work with what we got. So let's make some money on it. They're saying Mac is expected to start tonight. I was kind of liking Zappy, but uh, I guess Mac is their guy. So let's see what's happening tonight. I think we can go over 40 points on Monday night. Free play of the day. Patriots, Bears, over 40. Jump on that full week. $100, Monday to Sunday, red alerts are included in that. That's all sports, all picks. I'm coming back with revenge. No doubt about it. Um, the hockey, there. I just, I don't want to talk, I can't believe we lost that. Uh, hockey day, $17.99. The hockey week was 50 bucks. And uh, is 50 bucks. And then the hockey season is 450 bucks. I am a beast. Fade me rappers or fade me baits. Um, tell me your, favorite bet of the day in the comment section and tell me your top fantasy football scorer in the comment section let's have a great day as always good luck god bless cry all baby cheers